Today we have a great portable or travel monitor for your Mac. Let's talk about it. All right, welcome back to the channel. So what do I have today? I have actually a portable or a travel monitor for my Mac computer over here and also my MacBook down there, which I'll get into. And it's something that I think I use way more than I thought I would actually use. This is actually gonna be the 16 inch, it's 16 inches, pretty big one, and it's called the Mobile Pixels Glance. And I'll have, actually, let me just go over here. So let me just show you really quickly. It's 199 bucks right over here. You can see it, 199.99. And again, Mobile Pixels Glance is the name of the monitor. And I'll get into all the specs and everything in a second, but I just wanted to show you the Amazon page, and I'll have a link to all this in the description. I'll have a link to this page and also their main website for the company as well. All right, so why, you know, this is, a, this is kind of, again, something that I didn't think I would use or need, because I don't travel a lot but I want to go ahead and explain to you why I use this a lot and also just the features of it and why I think this is one of the best ones out there if you're looking for a travel monitor now this doesn't have to be for a Mac either it says that it works with obviously a Windows PC uh, a Nintendo switch Android obviously any device that needs a monitor this can work perfect for so let's just get into it I want to show you a little bit about this and as I talk about it I'm gonna be showing you pictures and kind of cutting back and forth so you know the way I do reviews, right? I'm not that refined and I kind of just say what I think and I do it all in real time. So if you like that, stick with me. Let's get into it. That's the way I am. I can't control it. All right, like I just said, this is a perfect travel companion monitor if you're going to be going to hotels and stuff like that. You need a great second screen. And I'll, again, I'll get into why that is. Um, but let's just get into the specs really quickly. So like I said, it's 16 inches, right? It's actually a 16 inch LCD screen. It doesn't say anything else like IPS or anything. So I don't know, it just says LCD. It's again, 1080p. So it's actually a pretty good resolution for being this size. And it's actually a very clear display. The weight is 2.1 pounds, it's 60 Hertz. Again, it's 1920 by 1080. 16.9 ratio, and it has a number of ports on it, and I wanna get into that. So first of all, this thing's full aluminum, which is actually very elegant. So if you look at the back of it, and I'll show you close-ups of it, it's hard to tell. It's made out of like full aluminum. I think that's one of the reasons it's a little bit more expensive is because just the build quality seems really good. And overall though, uh, the one negative with the, with the aluminum is you can get some fingerprints. I don't know if you can see them there, but every once in a while, if you touch you know, on the back of it, you, you may have to rub them off because you're gonna see them if you don't like that kind of stuff. I also wish this came in silver and maybe space gray, but it only comes in black. So obviously with the Mac, it kind of matches here okay, but if you're gonna be you know, wanting something to match perfectly, then obviously this may not be the one for you. But overall, I just like the design design of it. If you look over here now, I'm going to kind of explain a couple things. So on this side over here, and I'll show you close-ups as I'm talking, down on this side though, there's basically four ports. There's a, going to be a headphone jack, two USB-C ports, and an HDMI, mini HDMI port over there. And, uh, and on the other side, it actually comes with um, a plus and minus button, and then basically the, the menu button. And I'll get into that in a second. So it's, only, it's very kind of elegant how it's actually you know, over here are the switches, and over here are the basically the plugs you can plug things in with. On the back of it, obviously, it's just sheer aluminum. On the front, it has kind of a glass. Now, this is actually a matte screen. Just keep that in mind. It's not a glass screen. It is matte, and uh, it gets fairly bright, and I'll get into that as well. But overall, the viewing angles, I think, are okay for this. I mean, obviously, they're not perfect. They're not going to be, this screen is not as good as this screen or my MacBook down there, MacBook Air. But overall, it's a very good screen, and uh, the viewing angles are fine for how I'm using it. And actually, I think this is better than most I have to just say that I've seen some of these things and this is actually I say maybe in the top you know 80% of them it's gonna be up there all right, I'm gonna show you the box right now as I'm talking, but in the box actually, it came with a bunch of cables. So it came with two USB-C cables and they were both different sizes and that's important later. And then it came with a mini uh, HDMI to full HDMI cable, which is nice to have as well. And it came with a power cube. It's right here basically, but you'll see it in the box there. And I was kind of curious about this. Like, do I need this to power it? What's going on? It kind of, it sounded like I did, so I wasn't sure. So anyways, I get all excited and you know, the way I do reviews is I just say, listen, I'm not gonna read any directions. I'm a normal person, I'm just gonna plug it in and see what happens. I plugged it in, nothing happened. I'm like, geez, this is not good. Do I actually need to power it with this thing? And does this thing need power? Because that's going to be a major issue if I do need power for it. So I started fooling around. I put the power in there, nothing worked. But then I realized, wait a second, these USB-C cables they gave me are two different sizes. One's kind of basically, well, I'm not even picking up the right one. One over here is thinner, and this one over here that they gave me is thicker. I don't know if you can see it hanging here. This is going directly into my iMac, right? It's the thicker one. So I had the thinner one plugged in that way and it didn't work and I had that go. So basically this thick one is actually the one you wanna to use to go into your computer. This thin one is for the power cube over here. As soon as I switched that around, 
the thing came up perfectly and uh, overall I mean it's just I just plugged it in there's no power going to it here's the power cable right here so why do you need that thing well I guess if you just want to have any power coming out of these ports like you want to maybe charge something or you need power I think you plug it in or if it's a device that can't power it like a Mac you might need that but for both this and my MacBook Air down here um, you know right here these things work perfectly even on battery that MacBook Air can power this thing without the power cube over here so you don't need that and that's key and that was one of the big things I wanted to find out and it was perfectly plug and play no software very easy to use overall the experience was perfect just remember those cable differences just make sure you're using the right cable and everything should work fine all right so another crazy thing with this thing too is it's got speakers and I'll kind of give you an example but you're not going to hear it so hold on one second Apple giving us a powerhouse desktop in a minimalist box that not only has fixed some problems I had with my pre all right, so that probably sound terrible to you because it's going through three different microphones and everything else. But overall, I would say that it's obviously not as good as a, you know the Mac computers down here. But the speakers on this thing actually work really good, and I think they're probably better than most PCs or Windows PCs uh, for sure. So. If you're looking for, I don't know why you would need them if you're plugged into a computer and stuff, but I actually moved it, all my speakers over to this. You know, the Mac recognizes it as a speaker. I moved it over here and it worked perfectly and it's actually really good. I was using it, I didn't even notice I was using it. So it's overall, I mean, it's not gonna be as bassy, but it's pretty good. All right, just really quickly, I'm gonna share my screen over here really quick. So take a look over here. So when I plug this thing in, what I did is I went to displays right here in my settings, and you can see that it recognizes that there's two, two different displays. One says the glance over here, which is this, and this is my main display over here. It's gonna be the same with the MacBook and everything down there. The one thing you had to do that was weird, and I went into display settings down here. See that button? Click that, now it gives you the choice here. I can change to the glance, see it right there. I clicked on glance. So what was initially happening with my monitor, it said default setting right there, see that? on my screen and I had a, and I noticed that the, the resolution, I didn't even notice it really, but it was kind of bigger obviously and it wasn't exactly as clear as I wanted. So I went to scaled here, I clicked on scaled on my screen over here and I made sure, see it was at 1680 by 1050 for some reason, I changed it to 1920 by 1080, see right there? Then I click done and it, now it's perfect. So just make sure you do that as well. And then also in here, there's a lot of different settings. Like obviously there's this it's 60 Hertz, but it, you can do 50 or 60. I always obviously do 60 and then rotation. You can go ahead and rotate it. And this see here, you can actually have 90, 180, 270. And the reason this is so cool, let me just get out of this for a second. But the reason this is so cool for, for, for no matter what is because obviously the way I use this normally is I flip this up like this. So I'll flip this thing just like this and then I'll be able to, let me just see, you're not gonna see me, see me over here, but you're gonna basically flip it like this so that I can watch, and I'll show you some screens of it, but you can definitely see a full page of text and everything and you can read through it. So it actually works really great. The only issue with it is look at the cable down here. So if you're, and I have a short cable, this is not working obviously here for this example, but, but you can keep it like this if you want to, but there's a problem because this cable has to sit off the desk like this. See that? I don't know if you can see that there because it's basically has to be plugged in, right, to go to the monitor. So obviously if you flip this the other direction, it'll work, but then you're gonna have this cable in the air. So I noticed if I do it like this at the end of the desk, it works fine. Otherwise, you're gonna have a cable in the air. So just keep that in mind. I mean, you may have to run the cable up it and what have you. So it works better like this, obviously, than up and down in portrait mode. But portrait mode works great for me because I have this small desk. And again, this is not my normal desk. I'm just obviously talking here. I have a desk over there. So overall, this works great for me. And you have to kind of, you know, I wish the plugs maybe weren't on the stand here. So the stand, obviously, I guess I never even explained that, but the stand here can fold up. And I'll show you a picture of that. It folds down, so when you want to pack this into something, you can go ahead and pack it away. And I'll just show you again really quick pictures of this, just to show you that this worked perfectly with my MacBook Air as well. Um, so check my screen out there. You'll see that it's exactly the same, plug and play. Use the right cable though, comes up instantly, change the resolution to 1920 by 1080, and then make sure the orientation's right, depending if you want it horizontal or portrait or just landscape. And it works just out of the box. The viewing angles are great, the brightness is great. So finally, the menu system. If you go back here to the back, I'm gonna click on the menu system and just show you. It's got backlight, volume, contrast, then saturation or temp saturation, then temperature, signal, 
eye care mode, which obviously makes it like turns the blue light off or turns it on. And then you can reset it and then exit. So it's very simple here. Now you can see here, um, the, the brightness that I have it at is basically, you know, where it is, but it gets pretty bright. Let's just put it that way. It gets bright enough for sure. I'm kind of in a, you know, in a bright area right now. I can see it perfectly fine. It's not going to be as good as this monitor, but you can see the controls there. And they're very simple, easy to use with the buttons that I showed you. Um, the buttons are plus and minus and the menu button, and you basically click the menu button and then you can move the sliders. It's that simple. Everything's very simple. There's not you know multiple menus you have to go into and change things. So you're not going to be getting that level of, of, of you know being able to change specific things and color profiles and stuff. But overall, for a travel monitor, that's not what you want. I can clearly read the text. It's perfect for me. And overall, I think it's just a great system overall, right? So who is this for in the end? It's someone that, you know, unless you're looking, you know, obviously these things can be expensive, but I mean, this one's about 200 bucks, right? You can get some that are cheaper. You're going to be paying for this because it's a 16 inch screen. Number one, I think the build quality and it's really good. Number two, folds up. Number three, keep in mind that if it folds up, it does not come with a carrying case or anything like that. So you got to put this like into a laptop bag. They protect it because the screen's going to be very vulnerable. So get like a, one of those laptop bags that's kind of, you know, has felt on it or something to protect it. Beyond that, though, I mean, it's just elegant. I mean, as far as the look and feel of it, um, you know, it's full aluminum. It's got the ports you need, doesn't need power. Great for travel, great for a setup like this where I'm actually reading off my script right now. So I love it for that. Um, it's great, you know, if you're doing YouTube, it's a great script kind of lap, uh, monitor as well. So this is who it's for, and the cost is not that bad. The company's called Mobile Pixels, basically, and it's called The Glance. So pick it up. And again, you know, obviously let me know what you guys think if anyone's picked this up. The link on Amazon, I'm going to send you two of them. One has more reviews than the other one, but basically, you know, you can use the first one for sure. And then I'm going to send it to their company website. I've only had it for a couple of weeks, though, full disclosure. And uh, at the end of the day, I can't test the longevity of these things because I get so many products. So I've had this for about two or three weeks. I've only tested it for that. It works perfectly. Never had a problem. Not even one glitch. Will it work in next month or the month after? I have no idea. So obviously do your own research. Pick the one that's best for you. And uh, all I can say is this is my review. Again, I'm all over the place. But if you like these things, this is what I do. I'm a little bit off the beaten trail. So check out my channel. I have 600, 500 videos on Apple and all different kinds of products. So I love uh, making videos on new technology. And I'll talk to you in one or two days. Peace.